Hi, I'm Karen Malton Bray. I'm the chief editor of Computer Graphics World Magazine, and I am here at NAV 2013 at the Post Magazine booth. And we are trying to catch up with the leaders of the industry here and find out exactly what they're doing. Sitting next to me right now is Andrew Page. He is the Senior Product Manager of Professional Video Systems at NVIDIA. Welcome. Thank you, Karen. Nice to be here. Thanks. Now, here at NAB, NVIDIA has quite a lot to show at their booth, but mm -hmm. there's a couple main items that seem to stick out more for everyone and really creating a lot of excitement. One of those are the new boards. Mm -hmm. That's right. So here at NAB 2013, not only in our own booth, but in all of our partners' booths uh, around the show floor, we have GPUs on display showing all the things they do for broadcast graphics, animation, color timing, or color grading, editing, all sorts of different uses. And at our own booth and others, as I said, we have our new Quadro K5000 for the Mac and other new Quadro Kepler boards all on display. I know for those in the Mac audience, it's been a long wait. But the K5000 for the Mac is now shipping uh, and available in market. So you can get all the new power and features of the K5000 in terms of its performance, power efficiency, uh, and all everything else that it brings to your new Mac Pro towers that are available, or to your Mac Pro towers. And again, it is now available and going. One of the other pieces that we have in our booth, and also in a couple partners, is our new grid VCA compute appliance. There are multiple ways to get the GPU power in all those applications. One is a board like this, but in other cases, maybe where you're on the go or you don't want to bring all that, the grid VCA gives a server-based system or a, a rack mount environment where you can bring this into your office, put it in your back room in your closet. It has up to 16 of those GPUs, pretty much the same power of that K5000 that I just showed you, built into it, and you access it through a thin client in a, or a thick client, either way, but in a remoting environment. So you come in, you log into it like you do um, uh, another session on another computer, mm -hmm. spins up your tools, and from tools like After Effects, Premiere Pro, Max, Maya, you get all of the GPU accelerated rendering that you need to get your job done, but it's all done remotely. So from, say, a MacBook Pro, you can log in, use 3DS Max, the iRay renderer, V-Ray RT, all the high performance GPU rendering, yes. and get all those tools and work on them on your Mac Pro. So again, it's a way to bring GPU power that you can't necessarily put into your system down to, your, down to those laptops or those thin clients, whether they're Macs, Linux, Windows. It's kind of a nice way for a small medium business or a studio to outfit their artists and their, their staff with GPUs. They put one of these in the back room, serves up to 16 different workstations. Amazing and gives a nice way to work. And one of the nice benefits that comes when you do that is, as you look at adding contractors or an environment where you, not everybody's necessarily an employee, workers come and go, all the assets are stored centrally in that data room, in that back room where the server is. So that when the contractor leaves at the end of the day, there's nothing on their system that they're walking away with. They're not walking away with the intellectual property that you have or you've had them work on. It's all back in the back room, safe and secure, because all that ever comes from that server to that machine is an H.264 stream, um, similar to basically YouTube. It's just a stream moving from that server to the workspace. So an easy way to bring lots of GPU power into a studio. Now, when is the grid available now? It'll be shipping later this year. Uh, we do have demonstrations in our booth, as well as Autodesk is showing it in their booth as well. Okay, and what are we going to see from users with this kind of power? So users are going to continue doing the stuff that they've done today, taking advantage of all the tools, pushing the state of the art, uh, and pushing their creative envelope as they go, and we unlock their ability to express what they want with new, more performant tools. The Grid VCA just gives them another way to access it. They can still use boards under their desk, or they can move and work it in the grid uh, and use the grid VCA to serve out all that stuff to various thin client devices uh, around their workspace. Okay, and um, it's based, you said, on the Keplers? I'm, I'm sorry, I, mean, I didn't hear the question. <laughs> the oh. grid system, it uses the new cards? Yes, it is. Cards? The grid uses a, it, it's based on the new Kepler card. It uses our grid Kepler card. Um, similar in performance, similar style. Uh, it's just in a server-friendly form factor. Uh, and they are also available not only in the Grid VCA, 
but also powering um, available for other partners like VMware and Citrix to integrate that same remoting and virtualization capability into their solutions for larger companies that want that more enterprise friendly uh, features that VMware and Citrix really base their business on. As you build out a big data center for say thousands or tens of thousands of users, um, certainly they have the ability to deliver that same remoted and virtualized experience as well. Okay, and users, they can, with tying into the grid system, they have simultaneous animation, rendering? Yeah, so basically, each user that logs into the grid server, it's as though they're running on their own computer. And they have a GPU, uh, or multiple GPUs, depending on how you've configured the system. They have CPU, they have memory, and they have access to all the storage that's around, uh, that's available to the system as well. So to them, it's just as though they're working on a machine under their desk. But as they, they the unique thing about the grid is it's not just one person doing that, it's up to 16 people doing that simultaneously. So 16 different artists working on 16 different things potentially, each fully GPU accelerated. So you don't give up the GPU power to move into a data center, you actually move into the data center to get the GPU power uh, that you may not be able to have under your desk or it makes it easier to get to it um, where, you, uh, where you need it within your office. Great. And as I believe, this is an industry first, isn't it? You know, people have been doing remoting for a long time and uh, lots of companies, particularly large companies, have been interested in doing this for data center security and others. And many companies have very successful deployments of things like email and other stuff on it that are not GPU heavy. What's new with Grid is it brings the power of a GPU into that virtualized and remoted environment as well. So that's certainly a new piece uh, and one that is uh, bringing a lot of interest amongst people. As I've been sitting in my booth, I've got a lot of interest from people coming through saying that, wow, this is a great way to bring a lot of GPU power to take advantage of these tools from companies like Adobe and Autodesk and others um, and deploy it easily in my studio. Okay, wonderful. Any departing words? No, I think it's great that uh, here at NAB we've just seen how the GPU is continuing to transform the workflow uh, of all our different partners. I'm always amazed to see what everybody does and comes up and uh, talking with all the artists and others and what they're capable able to do uh, because of what the GPU lets them do. Wonderful. Well, I thank you for taking the time and good luck with the rest of the show. Great. Thank you to you as well, Karen. Thank Thanks. You.